you want to make changes to your order online page or to your website and you are clicking this button here to go there this is for you to create order online page so if you've already done this before there's no need to do it again so if you want to go to your website or your order online page what you want to do is you want to go to your own website so for example if you're already accepting online orders you're already receiving online orders so what you want to do is go straight there so for example in this case let's suppose my my website is tangsrestaurant.com so what you would do is you go to tangsrestaurant.com and at the very top after the .com you put WP admin but before you do that you want to first double check to make sure the online order page is installed on your own website okay sometimes you could be linking to it so I'm gonna press order online when you press this button look at the URL if the URL stays the same that means that the order online page or the plugin is installed on your own website so in this case that means that I have a WordPress website and all I have to do is after the dot com put dub but forward slash WP admin like that okay see that's how I log in when I press this I'm able to log in so how did I how, how did I do that what I did was I put WP admin at the very end of the URL and then when I do that I log in once you do that if you don't know your password or username press forgot password so for example if my website is mikesfood.com I put forward slash WP admin and that's how I log in but let me show you another thing that you may come across if your website is not WordPress so for example I have a website here called the perfect PETA so how do I know if it's WordPress or not or if my order online page is on my own website the best way to find out is just click on order online once you click on order online choose that location let's suppose I'm gonna choose this location called Virginia location and I press this button and then it loads up to this the first thing I want to check is the URL if the URL still says the perfect PETA the whole without smart online order on there that means it's on my own website but if it ends with dot smart online order dot com that means the order online page is not on my website but rather on smart online order uh, subdomain so in this case you would put WP admin at the end of here okay right here WP admin so again what do you do you put your mouse over it and put WP admin just like that and that's how you log in to your order online page so once again this one has dot smart online order dot com then you put WP admin here so that's how you log into it okay if you don't know what your website is or you don't know how people are ordering what you want to do is you want to go to Google okay and then type your business name and your city and state so if your business name is called fast pizza Woodland Park type it in in Google press search once you do that find your website it could be at the top of the search engine it could be down make sure not to click on the Yelp page because you want to go to your website so once you go to your website or find it either press this button or this button so I'm gonna click on this one and then when I do that it's gonna take me to my website so if you recognize your website make sure check your address to make sure this is your website because you if you've never looked at your website before you may want to double check to make sure it is your website so the way to check is see if it's familiar if it, or you press contact us and to look at the address if this address is your address that means you're on the right website now you have to log in how do you log in you press the home page right here at the very top left and then you go to the top again you put WP admin remember in rare cases it may not be WP admin maybe your web developer has a different one different way of logging in so you may have to ask your web developer but most cases this will work okay and once you do that you log in let me give you another example let's say um, you do have a website um, but you don't know um, what the order online page is see in this case what I just did was I searched for it and I found it and this is also a WordPress website but let's do another example I'm gonna type in oh baby sushi and I'm gonna say Redwood City okay I'm gonna look for this one and it found it oh baby sushi okay this one also has an order online button okay but but pay attention to the URL okay when I click on it it changes to dot smart online order dot com okay 
So in this case, this is not a WordPress website, the original one, meaning this one is not. So you have to log in from, so for example, if I put WP admin here and I press enter, it'll say file not found error. The reason why it says that most cases is that it's not a WordPress website. So you have to do it on the order online page, on the menu page, okay? So you go to the menu page, look through the menu, make sure it's your own website, and then put WP admin at the end, okay? Just like that, dash admin. And then once you do that, then you can make changes to your order online page, okay? So one more example. I have another one here, Pizzeria Pezzo. Same thing, you have to put WP admin at the end. If I try to do it on the main website, right here it's not gonna work because this website may not be WordPress okay so the way to find out is always press order online choose that location and if you see the if you see this smart online order at the uh, dot com at the end that means you have to log in from here okay and once you do that how do you log in again simply after the dot com you're gonna put this following letters and that's how you log in to your order online page um, that's pretty much all the examples I can give. But one thing important to know is that once you log in, you may be wondering, what do I do next? Okay, let me show you what, what you do next. You want to go to this page here, okay? Docs.smartonlineorder.com. Let me write it out for you. It's on the back end, but I'm going to type it out for you. D-O-C-S dot. I'm just typing uppercase. We don't have to type in uppercase, okay? Or... You can just go to, or you can go to Google. Just search a smart online order. Once you go there, click on it right here. And then you'll see something at the very top called documentation, okay? Or you may see it at the bottom. Here it is right there, and it's over here too. Click on this, because this is going to help you, guide you on what to do. Let's say you want to sync your menu. You press the word sync, and then there's a, there's a button here that says sync menu. So click on it and then follow these steps on how to do it, okay? It says on the back end you do this, that, and that. Follow these examples and do it in this order and then you'll be able to sync your menu. And if you don't know how to follow these instructions, there's a video at the bottom. Watch the video. For example, let's say you want to hide an item and you don't know how to do it. Type in the word hide and then find something similar to that wording. And click on it. See how it tells you how to hide the item. Let's say you want to hide category. I type in the word hide, find hide category, and it shows you how to hide the category. Let's say you're getting partial payments and you're wondering, why am I getting partial payments? Click on it, click on the word here. It tells you that, hey, um, you have to sync your inventory because if whenever you change your price on your Clover POS, let's say you had Pepsi for $1 on both Clover and website, and then one day you decided to make your Pepsi a dollar five on the Clover, okay? The website still the website is still going to show one dollar for the Pepsi, right? So when people order this, they're paying one dollar, but when you reach your Clover, your Clover is asking for a dollar five, so it'll have a five cent difference. So what do you do in this case? You do a manual sync, and how do you do that? Click on this button here, okay? Or just type in the word sync. Okay, let's suppose you're having issues printing and you're wondering why is my order is not printing correctly or why is it printing to the wrong kitchen printer. Type in the word print right here, okay, and click on this one, how to set up auto printing, okay. It tells you step by step from the Clover device, the physical device, press settings. First, sorry, you first you open up smart online order and then you press settings and then follow these steps on how to fix that. Again, everything you can probably think of is here, so follow these instructions to allow you to do that. All right, uh, hopefully this video proved helpful. If you have questions, there's other articles and there's other videos that you can watch to help guide you. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day.